is because they want to make sure that they can tell how far you're going, when you're going, when it you're driving, when it's your global warming. They know that's not happening too, just like they know that they can't ban cars. But that's not what any of this is about. Instead, it's about limiting the rights of every, as written in Agenda 21, it's about limiting the rights of everyone. Um, and uh, A21 is not the only one that they do it on. I know that there have been a number of white papers that have come from them that have pushed this kind of thing. You have no idea how badly I wanted to put in a gif for a certain Disney animated movie featuring snow creatures brought to life by magical princesses. I stopped myself knowing that I might be stabbed in the night with an icicle. Uh, since the ice blocks are people, I'm guessing any damage done to them is the same as if done to a person. On the flip side, if I slip and die on one, would the glacier be handcuffed and charged with manslaughter? We're f if following the logic of the court, the answer to the question would be a giant yes, a big yes. I highly doubt the courts would allow, would follow through with the charges, though that would be crazy. Just as crazy if I was in prison for sexual assault, if I licked the glacier without its consent. I do love Crowder, best writer today. But if I get on video, maybe Netflix will give me a special. Exactly how this law would have any effect on climate change is beyond me. We asked the glaciers for comment, but received a chill response. These are the jokes. As far as I know, glaciers don't have doctors to treat glacier people. Based on today's cry, cry, it wouldn't be at least a bit surprising if practices, though, popped up. Just me, or are we craving a snow cone? India might rule as a result. What they want you to say is every time you get in the car, they want you to know that you're harming the person of the glacier. You're harming like a person by driving your car and going to see the point for the day. Quit picking. Just for me, are you craving a snow cone? Yes, I am too. I wish I could say this whole thing is some sort of a joke, but nope, it is in fact the joke has already been written, and I would have melted it the pitch for a portable hairdryer. These environmental conscious leftists are a cult like Scientology, except instead of purging themselves of the tans and binge eating Mission Impossible movies, they prey on ju juniper bushes while wearing clothes made of hemp. They even want to impose green Sharia law, that is the uh, right, Sharia law, the Islamic law, the right to beat someone half to death for everything. This isn't some kind of symbolic gesture, it's their warps little minds, glaciers really are people. Oh, yeah, their cult was built on lies. And, uh, again, I'm very happy that Crowder is out there making very good videos like this. There's one more dust cap to give away, but I want to show you the hat that I made here. This is the best one of the two. It's an Indian man says, a glacier is not a man. I am a man. Blasphemy. Um, the glaciers are not penguins either. There's my penguin. There's my Indian gentleman. Uh, I had to make this because it wasn't folded yet, but it worked out okay. Mayday, Mayday, according to India, we seem to have struck a person, SLS, that would be the Titanic. And last but not least, um, I'm a glacier, not a human, even dumb blocks of ice know this, and there is my talking glacier. Can you see all these on the camera? There is yep. the dunce cap that is going to be mailed to I do have to write dunce down the side, I forgot to do that, but that's easy enough. It'll look a lot like the other one I'm going to show you. Um, here we go, friends. This is the, uh, the, the what they're going to be set, the dunce cap of the month. Go ahead and zoom in on that, Christelle. The dunce cap of the month award in New York. Great folly to have dishonored God with the idea that his creation of the earth is equal to his creation of man. Go ahead and move it forward if you have to. Beyond that, you have blamed man for warming the planet when no real science proves that man has anything to do with it. As a matter of fact, honest science proves quite the polar opposite. Mankind, by driving his car or heating her home, has no more say on the climate than tap dancing. Global warming is nothing but a foolish lie with no basis in fact. For that reason and for allowing fake science to lead you to call God's finest creation equal to blobs of ice that man has no control over, you win the dunce cap of the month award. India has disgraced God himself. And I've put that there. I'm going to make sure you on low def can see it. So I'm going to screen share it. And then we're going to go to who else won. Now, many of you are going to say I don't send out dunce caps to, uh, to other countries, right? I'm sending it to the Indian Embassy in America. That's the way around that one for this one. All right, friends. Um, 
the the last one I want to get to. I don't even, I don't even have a. Uh, I actually don't even have a screen for it. I had forgotten. This is just. Do you have the paper, and Nancy? Please get that if you don't already. I have a paper to show you guys. Just go out on sales and grab it. The GOP invited yours truly, me, to the inauguration speech from Donald Trump. That's right, me. Correct views, Sam I beat again, G. Christelle behind the scenes, wink. Invited to hear Donald Trump. It's true. He spoke with his inaugural address in January. I want to say the 22nd. I got my invitation to attend this in March. That's right. January, February, March. Three months late. Two months, depending on how you want to figure it. Two months late. I get my invitation to go and hear Trump. Speak at the uh, thank you for your support. Be, be, with, uh, madness, utter madness, friends. So I have made. This is why I was a libertarian before Trump ran. I swear. Uh, I, I guess I'm still a libertarian at heart. I got to watch how I word that. I guess I'm only here for the ride. Um, this I have made for the party for what they've done here in their brilliance towards me. The Delta Cap of the Month Award. Many of the people who are today part of the Trump train are only here for, quote, the ride. That said, as a libertarian who voted for Trump, I am honored that you recognize my show, my work, and my articles enough to not only give me full media credentials in Canton, Ohio, which Chris Dell and I got, but also thought to invite me to Trump's Washington, D.C. swearing-in ceremony. That said... I got the invitation in my mailbox in March, three months too late. So while I am, as I'm saying three months because it takes time to plan, I'm in Ohio. So while I am grateful, as is my show's crew of one, we would be less than sincere if you at the GOP did not win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award for this. Thanks, but utterly useless. Better luck next time. They can't all be home runs, right? Epic fail. And uh, Christelle, I hope, is bringing up the actual letter that I got. They literally mailed me in my mailbox. Two months too late. Oh, here you go. Here's your invitation. Hope you know it. Trump's going to give you this. giving me this spiel about how he's he's uh, going to be making a difference. And we've all stayed since it's over. It arrived in my mailbox really, really late. And that, friends, is the correct views. I have no idea what Christelle is doing. And she hasn't folded the hats. And she hasn't had the papers. I have no idea. My behind-the-scenes crew is terrible. But anyway, if you would like to donate to the show, you can do so at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. Every penny that you give to me goes towards a better show. Christelle, how do you lose everything? It was misplaced when we cleaned up the living room. Of course. And, and worthless cleaning. That is your other lesson, friends. Do not clean so much that you don't own anything anymore. It's always a bad idea. Uh, you can donate at the correct views on Hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me, friends, goes towards a better show. And hopefully a crew member that knows how to buy printer ink. Sorry, Christelle. 